Hey Stampy friends, welcome to the Joyous Stamping with Rachel. I'm Rachel Kuhn and it's our Wonderful Wednesday. Today I'll be sharing with you cards that were made through a swap called the Queens of the Stamped Age Celebration Swap. Celebration is almost over and I'm hoping that these last minute ideas will inspire you to want to get these exclusive celebration only items when you order a $50 or $100 order. Go ahead and hold life flip and we'll get started. All right, first let's talk about Wonderful Wednesday and what it means for you guys. So Wonderful Wednesday is the one day of week that when you order from me, I will send you the gift of the month. Um, good news, bad news. I only have two of these items left to give out because they are unavailable now until April 4th. So the good news is if you want some of the sea glass shapes, I have them for you ready in my craft room right now, but that if you want them, I want to order them for yourself. They are unavailable. So please, please order. You only have two more weeks in this month to earn this item for free for me when you place an online order. Also, because it's my birthday month, when you order $38 worth, I will send you a retired birthday stamp set. Um, it's my birthday month, and so it's what's better than giving gifts than to someone that has ordered from you, right? So I will double your gifts up today, and you'll get this sea glass and also a retired stamp set. And of course, it's still celebration, so you might as well bump it up to that $50 mark, and you can pick one of the items from here, or if you hit the $100 mark, and pick one of those items as well. All right, let me go ahead and show you these amazing, amazing items or these card swaps that we've gotten. And I'll show you where you find it in your celebration catalog. First, let's go to the second page and I'll give you some samples of the Daffodil Afternoon. So this DSP right here is for free when you have a $50 order. It's great because it does coordinate with the Daftal Daydream Bundle from the mini catalog, which is about $54 if you want that bundle, which is dies and stamp set, which will get you your free item. So if you're like, I don't know what to get to get me up to the $50 item, you can totally grab a bundle that coordinates perfectly with the paper. Let me show you a couple samples with this one. I just love this one made by Jerry Lawson. She's just a square of that DSP, but she used also the letters thanks from the mini catalog. And she's used, you see that right there, that Wink Estella on both of them. So it's a really cool die that die cuts two of the outlines of the word thanks. So she has both of those on there. And then she's used this new ribbon, which I think is also currently unavailable because it's just so popular. It's the Evening Evergreen Window Pane Ribbon. And then she has this great embossing folder, so lots of texture and just that little square. So this is a very simple layout, but with it all together, with all these pieces, it's just layered super perfectly. Love, love this one, Joylyn. And then we have two more that are fairly similar, but slightly different. And one of them, or both of them, use another celebration item. So this is the DSP piano piece that's right here. So this one you can make six or a total of 12 cards uh the 12 by 12 having it be the main card front and i love how similar these ones are and yet how different so this one also uses the friendly hello for the saying right here which is another celebration items we'll show you more of this one a little bit and then she's layered it with the butterflies and put some ribbon behind it she's even added some wink Estella to the center of that dsp to add just a little bit more glimmer to it she has it on that very vanilla card base, which is the color instead of basic white is what goes along with butter. This is one that I actually made for the swap. And what I've done for this one is just added a little bit of pop by cutting out these daffodils by hand and then attaching them with dimensionals. And there's about three of them in there. And I've also used a different um, card base. I have the, I think that's in my mossy meadow. For my inside and then I have that little extra leftover DSP for this one and I added it to the bottom of the inside. Um, this scene is also part of a celebration item and I'll show you that one at the very end as well. So here are three great samples using this 
Daffodil Afternoon DSP. I also have all these photos over on my blog. So if you're watching this and you want to see them close up or pause or zoom in, you may click over there and see all of them a little bit closer and the names of who made them. Oh, let me see. This one was made by Lori Brown. I forgot to give her credit and it is beautiful. All right. The next one I want to share with you is called Driving By. It's this awesome stamp set that has three different vehicles on it and three different sayings. I think everyone used this really cute van here. Let me show you the samples for this one and the creators of it. So this first one's by Michelle Stamping Angel. And she made this great one using our the Volkswagen bug or van, Volkswagen van. That's the bug. There is a bug that just has little um, presents on top. And then she's paired it to look more like Californian or Florida or anywhere with palm trees or maybe even more Hawaiian. I think she has some um, island vibes here for sure. Then she's used our stitch rectangles to create these great looking DSP images in the background and added some texture. And just that very simple hello here. Love, love this card, Michelle. Great job. And then we have another sample made by Amelia Hurst, where she's used these cute little clouds she's added to it, and just these little blocks of DSP, which these ones are another celebration item. So a lot of these you will see that they've used not one, but two celebration items, which is totally a great thing to do. Why not use more than there are free things, right? So I love that how she has this She's created like almost a DSP road here. And then the cool little clouds above, where she has them popped up just a little bit, but not all of them. So it looks like the clothes are just floating, floating there above this awesome van. Both of these ladies have used their blends, it looks like, to color in that van. I have one more sample for you with this one. This one's made by Christine Hatchett. And this one's so cute. Happy belated birthday. Sorry I was slow. And she's added the balloons from that race car one. So the back of this one, she's cut off the balloons and then just put it behind our cute little van here. She's also used her blends and added some texture with that brick embossing folder and some great label layering right here. Love, love this one, Christine. Thank you so much for that one. So there are three samples, very different, but you can see how there's so many ways to use the celebration um, stamp set. All right, let me go ahead and go on to our next samples we have. This one is some more designer series paper. This is the Sunshine and Rainbows DSP, is what we call it, and that's a six by six piece of paper, and it coordinates with not one, but two items from our mini catalog. So it coordinates with the Rainbow of Happiness bundle, which is currently unavailable. So you can get the stamp set, but you cannot get the dies that create these awesome looking um, rainbow arches or these cutouts here. So sadly, that's not available right now. I'll let you know when those come available again. But this is the stamp set of the month for me. So if you order the Rainbow of Happiness Stamp set, I will send you a kit to make four awesome cards. And I have a video for you for that one. So be sure to order that this month and I'll have a kit ready for you. Um, also, let me show you the samples for this one. Okay, this one is made by our friend Paula Skeen. a beautiful rainbow one. She's used our DSP here and she uses that dye from the Brilliant Rainbows. And she's colored with, it looks like her blends or her stamp and write markers to make her own cool little um, rainbows right there. I love how she's used her DSP and like four different ways. So we see four different sides of that paper. Love, love that. Then we have another one. Oh, and this one was made by Jean Nelson. And she gave me, or I have two of these samples. So you can kind of see a difference of how the DSP can work on here. So she's cut out by hand the little cloud or cloud rainbow from here. And then she has attached it with dimensionals. She's also using that same things that we saw earlier with a double lettering. And then she's even either chosen like the um, stripe rainbow look or completely rainbow. Super, super cute card. Let me show you how this one opens up too. We're going to open it this way and then that way. It's a fun fold, which you know me. I love fun folds. 
What a great, great card, Jean. Thank you. All right, those are our samples for that one. Let's go on to the next one, which is the Awesome Otters stamp set. This is free with a $50 order when you order this one. Let me get closer. You can see a little bit. Super cute. Um, these guys, like, had my heart instantly. They're just the cutest little guys, especially if you love, like, creatures from the zoo. You will love this stamp set. This one is made by Stephanie Jones, and she has a very simple layout, which I love. But what she's done is she's popped up our cute little otter and given him his little party hat and put him into some water here. I love, love the way she's done this. This is gorgeous. A simple but awesome card. And this would be a great one to make over and over and over again because it just uses a little bit of DSP and then the most of the rest of it is just some coloring and adding on our cute otter. Love that. Thank you, Stephanie. Now this one is amazing as well. This is made by Lori Webb who is known also for making some amazing fun cult folds. So of course in her Lori Webb fashion she did that. But let me show you the front first so you can see in how awesome this, this one is. So this is also that um, Sunshine and Rainbows DSP she's used right here. Then she's added some texture to this these pieces here. Now what we're gonna do is open this one up and it creates a little bridge. So you'll see like a little H will form. And underneath we have a whole nother otter that was perfectly laid right underneath it. So the saying was right there. So only one saying, but two otters, so cute. And he's become the party otter and the, the water otter is in front. But we're not done yet. Then it opens up one more time to the third otter and says, you are otterly awesome. Happy birthday. How cute is that? So we have all three of our otters on this card la layered together. And you don't see them until you start to open it up. Such a great card. We might have to do a fun fold Friday with this style. Love, love it. Great job, Lori. All right, let's go ahead and go on to our next one. I have the most samples. This is the most popular one. It is a $100 item celebration. Where well, it comes with both stamp set and the DSP. So not only do you get one, but you get both and they coordinate together. So some of these use just a stamp set and some use mostly just the paper and some use both. So I'll show you samples of them all and I can't wait to show you and let you tell me which one are your favorites. All right, here's our first one and this one is made by Chrissy Clayton. She's gone with a, just a little bit of a different color scheme. She has some of that DSP here and this is a fun fold because it opens up. Oh no, it's just a regular fold. It just looked fun. Oh, but it does have a beautiful inside and she's added that extra little flower there. And Super cute where she had to fussy cut out this bird and color that one in. If you look closely, it has a little bit of wing to it, so it has that easy glitter on it. Love, love that one. Um, this one was one that I made. It's super simple. Um, uses my three and three-fourths fun fold. But what we did instead, usually I don't add this extra DSP panel here. But we went ahead and added that panel so that way it cuts this part in half. And it allows you to have it look like it's a full on DSP in the front. This one's great. This was a very similar to, let's see, if I find the layout here. No, I don't see it here. I think it was a combination of this one is what I was looking at and it was inspired by, if I remember right. It's just super fun. And that saying, hope you have the best birthday is like a Rachel saying. That's one of my favorite things to say. Hope you have the best birthday. So it's a very natural card for me to make and some really fun stamping. Of course, I put a little bit of Wink of Stella by flicking it on there. So you have a little splatters of glitter on that one. All right, our next one is made by Candace Anderson. And she's used that Taylor Tag die to create a centerpiece of a tag. She's even used the floral image to do their background stamping here. And she's added that DSP, which is pretty awesome um, to be pulling all these colors that she has on here throughout that DSP. And she, of course, fussy cut her little bird out as well and separated our words, our hello friend, on two different ink colors and then um, fussy cut all around it. Super fun idea, Candace. All right, this one has two of them, but I wanna show you a little bit of the difference. And then all it is is the choice of ribbon and DSP. So you're, when you're making swaps and you're running out of, of 
like your ribbon, you could totally switch it out. Or if you have limited amounts of the DSP, you can use different ones and see how similar they are and yet how different at the same time. She did some awesome, I want to say she probably colored directly on her stamp with her stamp and write markers and then put this image on there to create this awesome three colors on one stamp. Love, love that one. Great job. Beth Underwood was one that made that one. This one was made by Phyllis Walker, and I believe she must have done some masking for this one. There's no DSP on this one, but if you look closely, she has this great blending background, it looks like, with a little bit of wink in her flowers, and I bet she used a mask which to cover up that um, bird and flower, so that way she was able to create her background without it getting all over that image. Love that, and she used that saying too, hope you have the best birthday. Great job, Phyllis. Then this one is created by Vivian Tavares. She is a queen of layers, like and not just only layers, but layering it right. She does the best job. So cinnamon cider is not my favorite color of Stamping Up. It's probably my, one of my least favorite colors. Um, but the way that she paired this one it looks so elegant and gorgeous and almost like that monotone look. She did use that petal pink. Um, part of our DSP right here, which goes, oddly enough, really well to create that kind of a vintage look. But let's get a little bit closer so you can see all of her pieces here. She fussy cut out that cute bird. She even has the flowers that she's cut around. She's added a square doily. She has some of the linen thread, the frayed ribbon, and she's added our little, I want to say those are sprigs punch or a sprig die, one of the two. And she's even done a background stamping behind on this one. And of course, it is also a little bit of fun fold as she's left out this bottom part and have the same for both the inside and the outside. Super, super great card, Vivi. Love that one. All right, my last one for the sample is made by Joya Bowman. And she has that similar um, hello friend which has been very popular, but she's added some flowers. She's created this cool looking um, shape. I think she used the basic border dies to create that one. Love, love that. Kind of looks like a pocket almost to me. And then she used the little bit of a basic black on the background to help kind of pull that all together. Great layers, and I love those iridescent rhinestones right there. Love that one, Joya. Thank you so much. So there's a lot in that one, right? Oh my goodness, so many samples. That was definitely a favorite and so fun to play with. Let me grab real quick my last sample and tell you how you can get that one. So the last one is this gorgeous card here. And this one was made by Elaine Venter. And she's used that calming calomel. This is a hostess only stamp set. She's also used the marble, um, Simply Marvelous. Um, celebration paper right behind her as well. Let me go ahead and turn to the page so you can see the stamp set. This one is a host only free set. So when you host an online party or spend $300 worth of Stampin' Up! products, you can get this stamp set for free. Has some great font, the happy birthday, you're in my thoughts. It's the little things that make life great, you make me smile, and these two amazing images. Let me get closer on this card again so you can see how beautiful that floral image is. And I love how she has it on a layered circle. So it kind of just frames it perfectly. And oh, great, great job. So if you want to host a lot online party, please let me know. We have about 12 days left in order to do so. And I can help you earn this stamp set for free and make beautiful cards just like Elaine. All right, I think that is it for my samples. Um, there are more items in the celebration. Oh, of course, I could not forget one last thing to tell you. And it's almost over as well. During celebration, there's a starter kit deal. So not only do we get the starter kit, it was always a great deal. Always. Um, but during celebration, you get two extra stamp sets of your choice. So our starter kit is just $99. That means you get $90 worth of product plus an extra $25 worth of product of your choice, plus during celebration, the two stamp sets and free shipping and supplies and a paper pumpkin kit. 
There's so much value to this. Did I tell you that you get to pick whatever's in your kit as well? You also can include pre-order items. So if you've seen any of the awesome products, you're like, hey, where is it? can I find out in the catalog? Usually is a pre-order item and it's not available yet to customers. So right now there is an item called the Waves of, hold on, let me grab it. Waves of Inspiration. So this is a beautiful stamp set that you can add to your starter kit in the month of February. Isn't available until March for everyone else. And you could also get the amazing dies and paper that go along with it. So an added perk, if you love anything oceany, this is something that you could even add to your kit. So you can't see that anywhere else yet besides maybe some samples some demonstrators have made. So if you want to see more of this one, please message me. And if you're interested in joining my Stamping Up team, and I can let you see all the pre-order pro products available in order for you to make a decision if you want to add those in your starter kit. All right, you guys, I hope you have a wonderful Wednesday. And don't forget to celebrate this month. It's almost over. Hope these ideas have inspired you to find a stamp set that you like or the paper that you like and add them to your order so you can make cards like these oh my goodness there's just too many to pick even a favorite right there's just so many great ideas um oh and this was a swap so this, these are not cards that i all made and so that's another fun thing about being a demonstrator is that you get to participate in these amazing swaps and get so many ideas and cards back to you. All right, you guys have a great day. Happy stamping, everyone. Goodbye.